Good morning students and once again welcome back to your science class. Today we'll study about the chemical effects of electric current. We'll see how water conducts electricity. You have to take two carbon rods and instead of two carbon rods you can even take two iron nails. These carbon rods will be called as the electrodes electrodes, and why are they called electrodes because they will carry the they are these rods are used to carry the electricity into the liquid so that is why they are called as electrodes. What you have to do is you have to attach the carbon rods to each of the terminals of the battery with the help of wires and dip the rod in water in a beaker. You have to add a spoon, teaspoon full of salt or few drops of lemon juice. You have already studied that lemon juice, salt, acids or bases, they make it more conducting. And then you have to wait for 2-3 minutes. You will see that after 2-3 to three minutes, there are bubbles, bubbles start evolving from the electrodes, near these electrodes. These bubbles of gases are of hydrogen and oxygen. So what is happening here is that when we are passing electricity or on passing electricity, water, you know water, the formula of water is H2O, it will break up H2O into its constituents that is hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, and this was firstly studied, proved by a chemist called as William Nicholson. He was a British chemist who proved that if electrodes connected to the terminals of battery are immersed in water, the current was passed through the water and bubbles of oxygen and hydrogen are produced. So, the oxygen bubbles are produced on the electrode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery okay the one which is connected to the positive terminal this is the positive terminal okay so which gas will evolve from the positive terminal from here oxygen gas will evolve from the um, electrode from this positive terminal oxygen gas and from the negative terminal the hydrogen bubbles will start evolving or this is hydrogen okay so the positive terminal will evolve oxygen and the negative terminal will evolve hydrogen then here we have got one more activity to study the chemical effect of current that is you have taken two copper plates a solution of copper sulfate again a battery and copper wire before putting it before putting the copper plates into the copper sulfate solution you have to weigh them okay and after weighing them then you have to dip it in the copper sulfate solution and leave this whole apparatus for half an hour after half an hour you will see that there is a reddish deposit of copper on the negative copper plate here you will see that uh, there is a uh, reddish brown deposit okay and then uh, when you weigh the plate on weighing the plate you will see that the weight has increased so what happened is that here the copper came and deposited on the left uh, sorry on the negative plate so this shows that electric current breaks up the copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution if you remember children what's the formula it's CuSO4 so copper and sulfate so this has broken into copper and sulfate and the copper got deposited on the negative plate so whenever electric current is passed through certain liquids or uh, solutions that conduct electricity some chemical changes occur and this is called as chemical effect of electric current 
the the decomposition of a liquid while passing an electric current is called as electrolysis what is decomposition decomposition means breaking up in both the experiments you saw in the first experiment water it broke up into hydrogen and oxygen okay here the copper sulfate solution uh, broke into copper and sulfate that means the copper got deposited on the negative plate so this is decomposition that is the liquid or the solution is breaking into its constituents on passing electric on passing electric current so this is called as electrolysis the liquid that is breaking up during electrolysis is called as electrolyte clear children so there are many terms which have been used here don't get confused electrolyte is the solution that breaks up okay here see copper sulfate solution electrolyte is the solution that breaks up during electrolysis electrolysis is the process of breaking up or decomposition of the liquid on passing electric current and what are electrodes electrodes are the two rods or the carbon rods which are used to carry the electricity clear then an electrolyte when it is dissolved in water or when melted it start producing ions ions means positive and the negative charged particles and these ions are free to move out throughout the solution the positive ions are called as cations and the negatively charged ions are called as anions so we find that uh, kerosene it does not conduct electricity distilled water it does not conduct electricity so all these are non electrolyte so the solutions which conduct electricity are electrolytes and the solutions which do not conduct electricity are non electrolyte so for today we'll wind up children the rest will continue in the next class thank you